So your model uh, choice is going to impact your pricing and it can be pretty significant. Okay, now I simply just jumped over to Chrome and I want to walk through a few things about Azure pricing just so you know what the stuff is going to cost you when you come out and build this. Obviously, if you have MSDN credits, that's a great use of your MSDN credits here. But if you are in paper use, I want to make sure you uh, understand the pricing. We are going to use an open AI service. Now, creating the service itself, we create the S0 plan. So it is going to be a consumption-based plan. And there's several different uh, options here. By no means going to dive into anything in detail on the OpenAI components of everything, but we are going to use uh, the standard S0 component pay per use, and it's going to be a global deployment of the global SKU. But we do want to look at the pricing here. Now you're charged per token when you're dealing with AI models. In general, each pass through our agent loops is going to be maybe 10,000 tokens uh, each silo. So you can get a sense that maybe each run is going to be, it could be maybe up to 50,000 tokens, depending on the loops that everything passes through. So this t token cost per 1 million tokens can matter. We're going to jump down here and we're going to look at this uh, 4.1 and it's going to be $2 uh, per 1 million input tokens. The output tokens are much smaller and they are more expensive to account for that. Oh,